Welcome to J Dude's review. Today I'm gonna be reviewing PFW Lockdown in Pottstown. The two ugly falls match for the Universal Tag Team titles. It was between SAT, Jose, and Joel Maximo against Christian York and Joy Matthews. Was a solid opening bout and told a decent story. The second bout between Big Slam and Billy Box was a filler showcase to show off Big Slam. No more, no less. It's like one of those, like, those bouts, like those great Kali bouts, those right back bouts in WWE, yeah, like that. The Julio De Niro Rapid Fire M match was boring and too long. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> So, the Max Vandal Mike Pearson match was a basic match between two guys trained to become wrestlers. <laughs> the Eric Teddy match between the Dams, Mad Dog, and Braven or Breevy or something against Biggie Biggs and Lance E. Wait, wax air. Wait, let me my wine. <laughs> the second tag team bout between the Dams, Brave, and, and Mad Dog against Biggie Biggs and Lance Erickson was a forgettable feral with only one good highlight to see for yourself. The Joey Fisher, Joey Storm match, while sloppy at times, the action was consistent and the high spots made about really fun, 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 fun. <laughs> so, the Danny Rhodes Rock and Rebel match was fine with a Fine pace to boot. <laughs> the ultimate rumble match for the junior heavyweight title. While too long, it was, it still had good action in general. <laughs> The three-way elimination tag team cage match. It was C.W. Anderson, Steve Corrido, Chris Hamrick, and Brian Knight. And last but not least, Guillotine Legrande and Jack Victory. Well, rather felt flat and mostly boring, but said boring was good. And the few spots were rad and gnarly as well. Phew! I give this a, event a 7 out of 10. A 7 out of 10.